Now, last time we created uh, like a photo gallery and we just added pictures. If we want to add another picture, and then with this picture will be small, another picture will be big, something like that. But there's a good way to create a calendar or what you call it, photo gallery. Okay, good way to create a photo gallery. Uh, so I can say that, um, you know, something more organized way better than this one. All right, so what I can do is not this way. I can do a, a create a photo gallery in a better way using tables. Okay. Always use table. So I'm going to delete this picture because when I uh, save it and browse it, okay, when I browse it, okay, um, let's see that. Last time we did it, so say photos comes like this, okay. What I want to do is something is better is delete these things from here and put it in a table. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to create a table. Let's say my table is four by four. For example, I'm going to use four photos. And the size, I'll make it um, 60 or 50. Let's make it 60%. And I'm say OK. And I will put the table, a whole table, OK, in the middle. So. I have four things. I will insert a picture here. Insert just any picture. Uh, sorry, I don't have other pictures, so I have only these pictures, for example. And then say OK. And then I can uh, keep it like that. I'm going to insert another picture in the other one. Insert a picture from file. And I'm going to insert this picture in this cell. OK, another one here. OK, another one in the other cell. Here. OK, uh, maybe in the one before. So I'm going to say insert picture from file. I would like to insert this one here. And say OK. And the last picture I'm going to insert is actually here in the last column. Uh, let me see. I create three or four. I think I created four. Okay, so let me check. Yeah, here I created four. So I'm going to go up and insert another picture here from file. And this picture here. Okay something like that and down here also gonna add any picture like this uh, this one i'm glad i'm gonna add all the pictures to make it looks and a picture here uh, this is all the pictures i have okay so yes i'm gonna add insert also picture this picture uh, here, this picture, okay, and then the last one here, I'm going to add another picture here. So here, I miss one here, insert picture from file, okay, and I will insert uh, this one, for example, and okay. Uh, here, third one, insert picture from file. And this one here, it's a very big picture. I'm going to make it smaller a little bit. So let's make it uh, uh, 300. And here, we insert another picture. Not bookmark, another picture. Insert the picture from file. Uh, what else? This one here. Okay. Uh, make it smaller. Uh, 300. Enough. 
also one picture here. And insert picture from file. And I'm going to copy the pictures. So, yeah, what I can do is uh, copy the pictures. Uh, so I don't have more pictures now. Okay, I don't have uh, too many pictures. So what I can do is I'm going to copy some of the pictures from here. I'm going to copy this one, copy and put it here. OK, and also I'm going to copy three pictures from there. So I'm going to copy this one here. I just want to add more picture, that's all, OK? Here, and then I'll add it here. And this one, copy, and put one here. And at the end, I think there's one missing here. Yeah. So I have created this uh, album. I think I have all the pictures right here. Now, when you view it, OK, this looks very bad. OK, and I'm going to move the, all these pictures to where? To the picture folder, to the image folder here. OK, uh, yes. To the, yeah, so when I save it and I'm going to go to the web page and say, OK, refresh, please, and um, go to the photos, you can see this too big. It doesn't look nice, OK? What we see in the web is make them smaller, and when you click them on them, they will become bigger, OK? So how do I do that? I already taught you this, so I'm going to repeat it. So right-click on the picture and choose Auto Thumb. That will make it small. And also the same thing here, Auto Thumb. Same thing here, Auto Thumb. Right click on the picture and use auto thumb. Right click on all the picture and make it look small. I just want uh, uh, you know to see it, not in a big way, in a small picture because the screen will not be enough. So I'm going to make it as a thumb so they will become the same size when you make it as thumb. Auto thumb. All of them. OK, all of them and uh, make them like like this. And then other thumb. OK, so when you view them, OK, I'm going to save them. Also, I have to save them again because they are small pictures. So when I save them and I click on that refresh and I choose photos, now they looks much better in a nice way. OK, this is called photo gallery i can add like something to the pictures so they look uh, this is a programming way when you when you put the mouse in the picture it will look when you click on the picture it become what bigger okay click on this picture it become bigger okay so if you have more pictures like i want to do it I want to make it like bigger so I can say, OK, I'm going to copy all these things. So I'm going to copy this for example, copy that. OK, and I'm going to add more picture right here down. Yeah, I'm going to add a new one, just copy, OK? And imagine that you have so many pictures, so many pictures. And uh, you put them like this in a table and you make them as a thumb. Like this. OK, and save. And then when you browse it, it looks, what does? Looks more. If you want to see, they look as a small. If you want to see the picture, click on the picture and it will become big and then back. You can make it smaller, and the, the table make the table smaller, so they look next to each other. So I can go to the table of property and make it a little bit smaller. So instead of uh, 60, you can make it 50. Let's see how that looks. 
smaller. I make it a little bit more smaller as well. So table and let's make it 35. OK, so they look very close to each other. OK, I'll make it 30 and you see how it looks like. And this is 30 now. OK, so it looks like that. And you can see that it is will change now to look like this. You can make the table wider and put the picture instead of down. You can put them on this side. Add more column to it. And you want to see any picture, just click on that. You'll see it all in a big picture. 